What's up, YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeatHead.com. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Facebook metrics and how you should be setting up your dashboard and what's important for the new stuff that's going on in the back end. All right, welcome back. So, most of you guys are get, probably gearing up for quarter four this week as we are getting ready to launch some new products. Um, I put together a nice little blog post here. Uh, this, this mentions the relevant score. I actually have a full blog post on this. I'll put a link to that below. And then I also have the um, uh, some of the updates here that Facebook has uh, done recently. Uh, they're removing some metrics and whatnot, and uh, they're, they're changing some other metrics. So I pulled up um, a couple of blog posts, and I'll link to these down below. Uh, this was uh, as of August 19th. Uh, talk about the detailed uh, targeting on the audiences. And then there's another one here um, about some metrics being removed. Uh, metrics here... Uh, that are you know, the previous names and they're going to be called the new names, okay? So I'll put a link to this below. This is uh, pretty good stuff to go through and just read so you understand what's going on. Um, they're not too much of a difference here. Video watches at 25% and now says video plays. I mean, it's just, I guess it's just a little bit of verbiage. But uh, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on this, uh, uh, this Facebook blog here and, you know, just do a search like metrics or metrics updates and generally like the latest and greatest will kind of come up here. Uh, so that's a nice thing to uh, kind of keep an eye on here. And this is just business.facebook.com slash help. Um, Facebook.com slash business slash help, okay? And um, so I, in this blog post, uh, I added this to the bottom here. And uh, I'll show you what this looks like on the dashboard, uh, sort of like this. Uh, I'm still playing around with uh, how exactly I want to set this up. But, uh, you know, basically I have, um, this is my one of my e-com accounts, and I'm getting ready to, uh, we're actually just running some uh, brand awareness campaigns right now to get some likes to the page. Uh, it's a new store, new page. Uh, it's a branded general store. Uh, obviously, the ideal situation to get into would be have a branded one product store, okay? But you need to kind of test uh, before you go and spend all that money and time building a store out for a product you don't even know if it's going to work. Uh, what I would recommend is branding a store okay so what you do is you, you get like a nice logo uh, you make the store kind of themed out like you don't want like trendy gadgets or or you know gadget Joe or whatever you want to call a stupid store uh, you want to have something that's more like a branded store so when a user lands on it yeah maybe there's other products on it but they think it's kind of like a brand name okay um, dollar store isn't really good if you think of like uh, a store like Marshall's okay uh, Marshall's is a uh, retail chain in, in the U.S. here that has uh, all different brands and all different stuff, but it's like still a, a kind of a branded store. Like you feel confident going into Marshall's knowing what's going to be in that store. You already kind of know that they're going to be carrying brand names and they're going to have good quality products and whatnot. And that's the whole idea with branding your online store is you want to have like a branded store that like people feel like they're actually comfortably buying not at some like you know fly by night you know money scamming type of store okay you want to make sure you put in stuff like a phone number you want to put a contact us page with an actual email at the you know domain or wherever you're at so like um you know inquiry or info at you know whatever the domain is so people feel comfortable when they email them um, email you or they call you that someone's actually going to pick up the phone or at least you know call them back um, you know, chat. Uh, you could even shoot a video. One little ninja trick I saw that I haven't done yet that I, I'd like to. Uh, you could even shoot a video, let's say, like a you know a pretty girl uh, or somebody that appears to be like a customer service person uh, from maybe like a, a warehouse, and you could put a little video saying, "Hey, uh, you know, this is uh, blah blah blah." At you know, I'm here at the warehouse, and I wanted just to say hi, introduce myself if you need anything. You know, make people feel like warm and fuzzy about buying from your store. And you can put that video on your store at, at, at the end of all your product pages, and then people are going to be able to see that and be like, oh, this is something I can trust. Anything you can do these days to help increase the trust uh, is going to be a very, um, help you become more profitable in the uh, e-com space. Okay, so keep that in mind. So these are uh, some of the metrics here. Uh, you want it to kind of look like this. I'll kind of go slow here so you guys can see uh, the metrics. Um, you know, obviously website purchases, uh, purchase our, um, you know, return on ad spend, uh, purchase conversion value, cost per purchase, uh, video watch time, link clicks. Okay, all these are metrics are, are are what you want here. Now I put this on a nice list uh, over here, and I'll make this a little bit easier to read than my blog. And there we go. All right. 
So you got the delivery, the budget, uh, the reach, the amount spent, unique link clicks, uh, unique uh, CTR, link click-through rate, cost per unique click, content views, add to cart, checkouts initiated, total and cost, purchase row, then purchase, purchase row as, return on ad spend total, and obviously your quality rankings. Um, here's an example of uh, quality rankings here. Here's a campaign I'm running for my Halloween event, and I'm getting some nice quality rankings. The thing with quality rankings is if you're above average, you're going to get the better placements and you're going to get the lower cost traffic. So you always want to shoot to be above average here on the quality rankings. And here's an example of a campaign I'm getting a one cent post engagements on, which is pretty darn good. I'll take that. And um, uh, you want you also want to make sure that, uh, what was I going to say here? Oh, yeah, I want to show you guys exactly how to set this up. So in this particular account, uh, if you go into uh, down here, you can actually customize your columns, okay? And uh, notice I have this uh, Ecom New Dash. That's, a, uh, a co that's one that I set up myself, so this is a saved one. All right, so what you want to do here is when, once you go into the, uh, the customized columns here, you want to go into customized columns, and this is where you'd go in and, uh, you know, you'd start putting in your... Um, uh, like here we got the delivery so you know if you want to put that up top you just move this like this uh, budget like that for example uh, probably take off his errors uh, budget and then you want like your amount spent okay and uh, you can always search if you can't find it you check that okay there it is it wasn't checked and then you, you know this is how you set it up okay it's pretty simple and just go ahead and uh, follow the uh, the guide that I have here I'll put this in the in the comments below or um, not the comments, but the uh, the summary below. And then once you you know once you get it set up the way you want it, you just go ahead and click apply. And uh, you want to go ahead and um, uh, if you want to if you want to do the um, go ahead and click apply. Notice here I got the delivery, the budget, the reach. And then um, if you want to actually go in and save this, it's a little bit tricky. Uh, you want to customize columns, delivery, budget, reach. And this is where you want to go down here to, um, it's a little bit hard to see here. You want to go apply, and then you want to hear, want to click here, save as a preset. Okay, and this is where you would do, um, you know, whatever you want to call it, ecom KPI dash. Okay, and then you just apply that, and then uh, this is your ecom KPI dash. Okay, you flip over here, boom, and then, uh, okay, so here it is. Looks like uh, you got to go down here to ecom. There it is. Okay, so that's that's how you do it, and that's how you make your your dashes. It, it was just it's just kind of glitchy. You got to kind of scroll down. It's not really showing the bar, but it's there. Okay, so here's a couple different ones that I've I've made. Okay, and that's how you do your your KPI um, your dash. I mean, I got this one kind of set up the way I want it. This uh, ecom uh, new dash. So this is probably the one I'm going to use. It's got everything here in the order that I want it. And this is a good way to keep track of like what you're really paying attention to as far as metrics and whatnot go. So I um, kind of wanted to show you guys this. I'm getting ready to fire up some, uh, some campaigns this week here. And, um, you know, hopefully things go well, which I think they probably will. And uh, I figured this was a nice video to get you guys started in the right direction. So if you haven't liked this video, make sure you like this. Go ahead and share this video with anybody that you know that's interested in running Facebook ads and uh, how to set up the dash with the proper KPIs. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe, bang the notifications bell. If you have any suggestions for me, leave them below as far as what you might want to add to your dash or my dash. I'd love to hear them. And if you like this video, make sure you leave me a like. I'm the Marketing Meathead. We'll talk to you later.